<laughs> Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is March 27th, 2021. And you can see the van's all loaded up. What's it loaded up with? I'm going out to the yards and making splits today. Now, it's swarm season, right? <laughs> and uh, we, want, we want to catch swarms, but as a beekeeper, I don't want my bees to swarm. I want somebody else's bees to swarm or feral bees to swarm and let me go get those. But as far as for our bees here at the Abbey Bees, now I, I want them to stay in the box because my hope is that we're going to get honey out of these bees. So if that swarm takes off out of the box, there goes my honey. So my interest is to split hives and then to make the honey from those splits. Now, do you have to split hives? Nah, you don't have to split hives. But for me, I, I want to keep my split, my swarms <laughs> in the box. So I'm going to go and do splits. And today, what I, the, the type of split I'm going to be talking about today is using a double screen dividing board. Now, let me show you what this is. This is simply a piece of three quarter inch plywood that's hammered together, screwed together, and on both sides of it, I put a piece of mosquito netting. Oh, and then the other thing, then I drill a, a entrance hole for, for, the, for the bees right there. Now, if you wanna see a, a link to a video that I made on how I build these, I'll include that in the description of this video. So you'll have to go to the description to get that link, but it'll be in there and I'll show you exactly how I, I make these boards. They're very, very simple. And the reason why I'm gonna be using these double screen dividing boards to do my split, I'm, I'm going to be making what they call a vertical split. And what I'm doing simply is taking my double screen dividing board and I'm going to be sliding it in between my two deep brood supers. This method of using a, a double screen dividing board is really safe, safe for beginning beekeepers because you can achieve a split, if you want to do splits, you can achieve a split without really having to do a lot of work and the bees will do the rest of the work. They'll make the queen cell. Then what you'll have to do is come back within seven to 10 days later, make sure we have a queen cell, an emergency cell built in the box that doesn't have the queen and at that point we can split our hives and now we have two hives. It's very, very easy, which is why beginning beekeepers, uh, it, it's almost a fail-safe method. You don't have to be looking for swarm cells. You don't have to be looking for superseding cells. You just stick a board in there. So long as there's not swarm cells already developed in the hive, stick this board in there and it's almost a sure thing. So by the grace of God, we're gonna head out to the field. I'll show you how I use this, how we put the board in, and then at the end of the video, last week we did a field day up here at the Abbey and we set the, the boards in last Saturday. So this evening when I get back, we'll go ahead out into those, those boxes, I think there's three of them, and we'll open one of them up and I'll show you what the queen cells, the emergency queen cells will look like. So let's head up to our St. Dominic's yard and before them bees swarm on us, let's go ahead and do some splits. Let's wrangle, huh? <laughs> As is so often the case when I do my videos and wrangling and stuff, it just doesn't turn out the way that, that I had hoped it to turn out. And today I went, visited three yards. We, I went to the St. Dominic, the St. Francis, and the St. Lucie yard. And I did six, 11, 14 splits. But to do 14 splits, I had to look into about 28 or 29 hives. And out of those 29 hives that I did, 14 of them were able to split, but they already had swarm cells in them. So I split the hives using swarm cells. In fact, I'm hoping to make that video next week uh, to show how I split hives uh, using swarm cells. But this week's video was supposed to show you how splitting hives using a double screen board works and since I never got to show you how I actually do that in the field I'm hoping that some of the footage that that Charlie took la last week 
at our field day here at the Abbey that I'll be able to use some of that video for that to show you. We want, we want to check our, our, our hive strength to see if, if, a, if a hive is a candidate for splitting. I, I like to see minimally six frames of bees in both the top and the bottom box. So when you, when you take off your, your cover, and you know whether it be a telescoping cover or a migratory cover, however you do it, mine are all telescoping. So I have inner covers. And, and when I take that off, um, you can look through your hole in the top and you'll, you know, you'll see if you've got a lot of bees. If you have a lot of bees, they're going to start bubbling out of this thing. If you have a lot of them, they're going to just like bubble out. I leave my inner cover on. I do not break that seal in there. I think it's a, it's a good idea to keep this um, propolis sealed up because underneath this cover, the bees have propolized that and put the or corralled the, the beetles up into there. And so when you pop this cover, those beetles are, ooh, they start running all around. So I don't pop that, that cover initially. Say I'm working the bees from back here. What I do is then lift up my box just like this. Now, yeah, you can have a lot of bees come out. With your box in this position, you then can count how many frames of bees are on the under, in between these frames. Like I said, six frames, that's what I want. So if you've got bees in this area right here, that's a good candidate uh, for a, using a screen dividing board. You, six up here and six down here. And that's generally what you're going to see. And so what, what is a double screen dividing board? And that's, these are ones that I've made. It's simply a spacer bar with screen on both sides of it. And the reason that we have screen on, on both sides of it is because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this board right here and we're gonna place it between these two boxes. Remember, we're making a split. We're doing splits. So this, in a sense, creates our split. This board right here creates our split, the beginning of the split. It's separating the two hives. But at the same time that it's separating the two hives, the bees still will share the pheromone, the queen pheromone. 95% of the time, our queen is going to be in this top box. Why? I, I don't know why, but she is. And she's, she will vacillate between this top box and this bottom box going up and down layers. But the problem is you've got to have larvae in there that are young enough. So you don't know if that queen had laid in this box recently enough so that the bees in this box can then develop a queen. So my suggestion is that when we, when we do the, take this top box off, what I do, You'll see me do it on the field. I'm going to set it on my screen board. And the reason I set it on my screen board is because it's going to contain the bees. They won't, they won't come out of the bottom. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this top box. And I'm going to pull frames. And I want to find a frame that has the youngest looking brood on it. In other words, the, the, the most recent place where our queen was. And I'm going to take that frame, take it out of that box, Make sure my queen's not on that frame, because a lot of times that's where she's going to be. And I'm going to put it in this bottom box. By putting that frame in that bottom box, that ensures me that there is brood in there young enough for these queens to then develop an emergency cell, a good emergency cell. And then this frame can just go. When I do my split, I put a super on each one right away because it buys me time. Uh, it, it gives me at least three weeks before I have to go back in there to check to see. Because this queen right here, sometimes you come back three weeks later and then you're gonna have two boxes of bees in this in the box that was a queen. So you gotta you really gotta watch her. This one, she's she starts laying, they, they're slow to take off, but they they'll cut they'll, they'll catch up. And hopefully by the time our tallow comes um, after the privet, well then these guys are ready and they're making they're they're making honey as well. But these three hives right here are the hives that we split last week using the double screen dividing boards. And 
using that double screen divide boards, you should go back in there within seven to 10 days after you put the boards inside of the hive and to then check for queen cells, the emergency cells. Now on, on these hives, the bottom box, the top box, and we have our dividing board between it. And the entrance is facing the other way. And I'm gonna grab the camera and show you the entrance on that way. So in each one of these hives, you have two entrances, one in the front and one in the rear. And I know that in these boxes, that at least two of the three boxes, I think this one, we may not have found the queen in this one, but I know for sure in both of these, we found the queen. So I know our queen was up on the top on this one. So what, what I'm gonna do is I'll grab the camera and first show you how that dividing board is in the hive in between the two boxes, showing you the bees in the rear of it. And, and then I'm simply gonna take my top box, which has my queen in it, and I'm going to move it off of this stand right here, this location, and move it just about 10 feet over that way. Now, when I move this box, I'm then going to put another super on top of it. And I've got all drawn out brood comb. It's old brood comb, but it's a nice comb. And I'm gonna put it right on top of this box right here. And the reason I'm gonna put it on the top here because the field bees that are in this box, their entrance is in the rear of the box. So what I have to do is I put another box, another super on top of this, another deep super on top of this, and I'll put a shim in between it, make a little gap between the boxes, and that way the field bees that were going into this box are now going to be coming into this box. And by doing that, since we know our queen is in this box, we're going to reduce the number of bees in that box. She's gonna, she's gonna start laying, she's laying right now, I'm sure. And the bees that we take from this hive, it's going to, she's gonna catch up with these so fast because there's gonna be at least a 30, to, uh, it might even be almost 40 days before we actually get brood hatching out of this box right here. So in those, in those times, the, the, this old queen, she's laying and they're emerging. So this, this, the old queens, that's why I love my old queens because this is generally where, where my honey comes from. But the, the queen, that the new queen in the bottom box, they're, they're building up and quite often I'll get honey out of these as well. So let me grab the camera, I'm gonna show you the, the entrance in the back of the, of the hive. And so it's really two hives right here. I'm gonna move off the top box, move it off, set another super on top of it, and then this split will be complete. And I will show you the emergency cells that were formed down in this box. Here's what the hives look like at the rear. And you can see the entrance on the back. Now, this one doesn't have too many bees coming out of it. I don't know what's going on with that. And then this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these boxes and, and move them over. Now I'm not gonna remove them all at the same time. I'm gonna do one at a time. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And I'm simply taking the top box off of that double screen board. These boxes are heavy. All right, let me get the camera and show you what we're looking at here. So our double dividing board was simply placed on top of our other box. And you can see there's a screen here. And because that, that screen is on both sides of this board, it doesn't allow the bees to touch. And so they need bees need to touch as well as share that pheromone smell. And so when they don't touch, then that's when th that hive and that bottom, they realize they're queenless and they're gonna make queen cells. So now, all these bees you see right here and all the field bees that are coming in, they're going to wind up in this bottom box. So we're gonna take our double board off right now. And since they sh shared the pheromone, it won't matter, these bees are already, they know each other.
And now what we have to do is go through this box and we're going to be looking for emergency cells. And there you are. Look at that. There's four of them right there. Look at that. That's beautiful. So we know we're going to have a queen in this box. And if I wanted to, if I've got more than these four right here, I can go and drop those in another box to do another split. It's really a great deal. Those are some beautiful cells. As it, as it turned out, that was it. We had four cells, but that is plenty enough to get the job done. I'm going to drive the bees back in, and then I'm going to put the other super right on top of it. Yeah, you can tell these bees are active. Got the super on there. Let me show you the comb that I put in there. All this comb is just old brood comb. So it's all drawn out comb. It's all ready for the bees to use. All they have to do is clean this comb up and they're ready to go. Now the only thing left I have to do is then put a little shim in the back of my box and all my shim is just a little piece of quarter inch blue on plywood so this is it this is the little shim that I put in there, and you can see the bees, they're just working their way in it. It's only a quarter of an inch, you don't need to give them much. And that shim, I'll leave that shim in there for only about three or four days. I'll pull it out, by then all the bees will, they'll know that, that they can't get out the box except through the front, and that front will become their new entrance. All right, let me put the lid on this and get those other two done. <laughs> all right, got them all done now. Just a quick shot of what we're looking at, boy, there are just so many bees in these boxes. And in this box, we had three cells. This one, we had three. And this one, we had four. Now, here's the back of our boxes with their little shims in place. Let's wrap up this video. And one question that you're probably wondering is, well, Mr. Ed, you had four cells in one of the boxes and three cells in two of the other boxes. Well, I mean, is that too many? Is that, nah, in my opinion, it's not too many. The, what's gonna happen is when the first queen that comes out, the first one that emerges, she's gonna go and chew with the other cells and kill the other one. So the first queen that comes out she becomes queen of that hive. It's quite the contrast in the activity on the front of the, the boxes. All three of these boxes were our boxes with, with the queen in them. And the bees haven't even started to come out yet. I, they're, they're coming to the openings now, but you can expect us to see that. But by tomorrow, they'll be flying out of this one as well. <laughs> so not every video turns out the way that I kind of hope it to or want it to. But I try to do the best I can. These bees, man, they, they, they actually, I got stung up pretty good working, working these bees right here. But it's in the evening time, the bees are coming in and there's a lot of bees in, in the boxes. 
That's all part of wrangling, huh? <laughs> but that's all I got for you in this one. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video. <laughs>